So I said we were going to get energy weapons on uh, <clears throat> Christine and Cody, I think. I didn't, because I'm a lying piece of shit, but there's also another reason. Da, da, he can't. Can Horatio? Did we get it on Horatio at the last second? We totally did. <clears throat> so I don't want energy weapons on Christina because... I was trying to... F I walked into a fucking cactus while I'm monologuing. There's another cactus and a thug. I can't believe you idiots just walk into those cactuses. Wow. I was looking up what some items do, because we've got a lot of fucking chuff in our inventory. And there are some we can get rid of, it seems. But the other neat thing is, holy Christ. I was curious about the flamethrower we saw. Because we have all this money to spare. So I looked up what it does. And supposedly, it's a gun that you can't reload. So you just buy several copies of it. Uh, but the big thing is, I'm not even sure if it's worth it. is it can't go full auto so by giving it to Christina she won't waste too much ammo that's the theory if I'm wrong we're gonna lose all of our fucking money in a moment sell everything da, 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 da. we don't need that armor goodbye more <clears throat> sell that carbine get out of here sell her chitin armor and proton max she's a lot to keep sell that His armor. Well, sell sell his 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 kite armor, not the power armor. Power armor costs fifteen thousand dollars. That shit would be invaluable in reality. All right, six. Sell his shit off. Mort isn't even in charge of energy weapons. He's just fucking swimming in power packs. Okay. In a location, seven. And then I think the Ion Beamer has the same problem. The Ion Beamer can't go full power. Uh, Christina. All $67,000. So we're just going to give her a bunch of flamethrowers is the plan. We're just going to give her a bunch of flamethrowers. And she'll just fire one empty and move on to the next one. That is the plan. I have not tested this plan. I'm not sure if this plan is viable. <clears throat> but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I really want Cody to become fucking an energy weapons dude. Three skill points. Oh, he's too stupid to learn energy weapons. That's why. Um. It's exactly three. It's exactly three skill points, so he should be able to learn energy weapons without putting any more points in IQ. Christina doesn't want a trade because she's a big bitch. There, problem solved. Back to Vegas, find some babies to beat up. The problem now is it's completely up to Cody. Because everybody else is just... Waiting. Everybody else is pretty much skilled up for this Koshi space we're going to. I was kind of hoping somebody that played Wasteland would have came in and told me how to pronounce it properly. Because that is definitely not the way. 
Oh, right, we had a fight in macro, didn't we? There we go. <clears throat> How did Horatio get some? Oh, well. Oh, I can't trust the way you pronounce it, Fat Cow. Let's be honest here. Can't trust the way you tell me to pronounce things. Hello, bad guys. There's some. Vegas is just free XP as long as we don't lose this armor. Cody Oge gains 3600. Oh, is that all? Not enough for a level though. Holy shit. Man, really should have taken better advantage of this macro stuff when we played the game. But, you know, that's usually what happens to me when I play games late. Start to master systems right at the end once it's too late. Fucking close enough. What is going on here? Felt like I wasn't actually attacking him. Apparently I was wrong. Uh, what is it? So yeah, Cody needs energy weapons, then Cody and Horatio get theirs. Christina's in charge of the flamethrower. Tobias and Mort get their proton axes back, and we are off to Cochise base, apparently, is how I should say it. No. No one is in range. I fucking hate these cowardly Las Vegas thugs. Just leave me alone. Oh no you don't. Pow, 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 pow. Thank you. It's gotta be enough. Cody Oge, what fucking rank are you? Oh man, that's a Mark III. This should be interesting. Wasn't interesting at all. The armor's too strong. I wonder if you could even beat the game without having the power armor. It seems kind of mandatory. Because you can't heal, you have to sleep. would be a lot easier if Cody got more than one fucking swing. Master Grenadier, and that will give him enough for energy weapons. Pow. Pow. And we've got some fucking bonus... I think we have some bonus skill points. I like how the library's outside the town, like, I don't fucking come in here. Energy weapons. Pow! Ah, fucking he can't grab doctor, shit. Huh. Well, I mean, if it comes down to it and we desperately need this, is we can just leave Koshi's base. And, uh, well, let's see what fucking everybody has. He's got two. He's got one. She's got four. Because we decided not to give her... Because we decided not to give her energy weapons. What can we give her instead? Well, we can make her another medic. Oh fuck yeah, because we fired the we fired the actual doctor. Cody Oge is a medic. Horatio for sure is a medic. Christina's a medic now. Brody is too dumb. Cody and Tobias is too dumb. Um Mort's just short of medic and Red Hawk. 
can become a medic. Fortunately, he's just short a doctor, but we'll, we'll have to live. All right, almost everybody's a doctor now. Did you figure out how to bypass the fence around the helicopter TTA? I think I just threw TNT at it, Justin. Weren't we gonna give her safe crack? God damn it. She's still got two points. That might be good enough. Completely forgot about that fucking Citadel safe. Wasteland Warrior piss off. The Needles Library will have safe crack. Right here. Uh, Christina, uh, safe crack, don't be fucking three. It's two. Powie. Christina's now our designated safe cracker. Christina wound up being a very versatile character, but she gets very protective of proton axes when you give them to her. She gets very protective of everything. She's a bit of a bitch. Oh my god, these macros. Thank god I'm not playing the fucking Amiga version or something. I really hope my microphone isn't picking it up, but it is windy as fuck outside my apartment right now. Alright, F3 macro. Christina, skill. Save crack is five. F three. Oh, we're in. Guardian of the Old Order Armory. What do you got? Okay. Oh, another Meeson cannon. Hello. Who's the better shot? Cody or Horatio? Twenty. Cody gets the Meeson cannon. Actually, now that everybody's got their no fucking around weapons, let's ditch all the fucking 762 and some stuff. Black Star Key. Oh, I also learned Visa cards don't do anything, so those are going away. The Mason Cannon is your new weapon. Where's that fucking Proton Axe you had, though? Don't fail me now, eyes. There you are. Yeah, we gotta drop, like, Practically everything Cody's carrying in the street because it's junk. Do you have a laser rifle? It's right there. Christina equips the flamethrower. Just like everybody's just carrying power packs. There's so fucking many. Just carry them. Who, Who is the other proton axe I need to unload? Give that back to Tobias, strongest man in the universe. Oh fuck, no, Brody, Brody isn't supposed to have one. Goes to Mort, because Brody's in charge of the cannon. Okay. There we go. Mason Cannon, Laser Rifle, Flamethrower, Mason Cannon, Proton Axe, Proton Axe, Ion Beamer. Alright, so let's... I'll grab everything, I guess. That's money. Okay. Four. It's fine. Red Hawk. You notice a pressure plate all around the energy weapon rack. Any movement in here might set off the bomb and back. Oh. Um. The walls are warm to the touch and were carved from the native rock. In places you see sayings inscribed in gold leaf. 
Well, we're just gonna blow up then. Thank you, power armor. The burned out shell of a room used to be the guardian armory before rangers remodeled it. Holy shit, good thing I grabbed those power packs. Goodbye, 762 clips. We're never shooting again. Oh, hey, fellas. They must have heard the explosions. Oh, where you going, fellas? Where you going? Now the fun can begin. Single. Oh, the music can is empty. Uh, load it. Single shot does 35 damage. Energy weapons to three. This is just good for getting our energy weapon levels up. And then, like I said, I'm 49% sure Christina cannot fire the flamethrower full auto. Okay. I don't know where those guys were hiding, but we've killed everything in the Guardian Citadel now, I think. So we're going to the shop in Needles to just offload everything we can and sell everything we can. I don't want to waste ammo on idiots and babies, so the proton axes are for that. Go. Every location, you fucking bet. Only got fifty-three thousand dollars to our name. Try to be careful. Power packs and power armors. Keep the laws, I guess. Who's my AT man? Cody. If you find a law, give it to Cody. Being extra careful not to fucking sell this laser rifle though. All right, she has all the fucking AKs. Give her a couple more flamethrowers in the off chance we don't need to come back. I'm sure we'll get the shit kicked out of us. I need to drag our ass back here. 9,000 for a Mason cannon. We found two. We found two of them. So I'm very, very glad that we managed to pick up safe crack. Because, I mean, one point in safe crack got us a Mason cannon. Incredible investment. Incredible. Six. Did I? I can't remember if I left more a sled. That's from that fucking broken toaster. Looks like someone tried to fix it with a sledgehammer. Laser rifles. Everybody's got their sweet guns. Goodbye. Sell this fruit. Six. So how much money do I have now? 76,000, let's buy her a couple more flamethrowers. Keep the Geiger counter. Final dungeon might have fucking radiation in it. There, that girl is just all flamethrowers. I guess if we're super fucked, we, we sold them all to this dude, so he'll have them when we come back. Now I wonder, I don't want to find out, but I wonder if he has infinite once I sell him one. Let's try that. We have enough. Power pack, 38. Power pack, 75. That was the only one, okay. Let's pawn shop. We don't unlock inventory. And then I don't want to do it until it comes up, but we do have a lot of power packs to shuffle around between everybody. But because we can't buy new ones, we gotta, we gotta be careful. 
and uh, not reload willy-nilly, which is why I'm going to be striving to single-shot everything. And we'll get to the Guardian Citadel, because we need to go there. I think we might have left some power packs up in the uh, that attic treasure room. Nope. What the hell are those did I leave behind? Like, 7.62 ammo and shit? Snake squeezing some fruit, no thank you. 7.62 and grenades, which aren't worth it anymore. Yeah, we blew a hole in it right before we stopped last time. It's around 1 in the morning, wasteland time, and we are hopping in this helicopter. So you're giving us quick aim, no. And then use, who's my helicopter pilot? Cody! You reach over and release the seat lock. It slides back and you drop into it. Engines roar when you hit the switches. You start to lift off and feel the copter veer toward the wall. You grab the stick and move to avert disaster. You handle the stick like an old pro. Flying this puppy will be a breeze. Get passengers with you before you take off. One way only. Yes, I'd like to waste the entire helicopter I found on a one-way trip to Needles. We're going to base Cochise. The helicopter rises through the open roof and rockets off towards your destination. You arrive at the base and the copter's defense system reacts and strikes back at the robots guarding the base. The helicopter swerves uncontrollably and crashes onto the concrete dome below. The smoke clears and you seem to be okay. Despite the carnage wreaked by the copter, the concrete dome is still intact. Alright, watch out for fucking super strong robots. Hit the dirt, you're being attacked by a threshing crawler. He means business, okay. Single shot. How far away is he? He is in axe range. Okay, single shot. I want to keep an eye on Christina here because I'm curious if the flamethrower can burst fire or if it's just single shots because if she's just spitting one fire every time and we have like fucking ten of these things, that's a lot of combat turns she's taken care of for. Okay. Gobs of quarks lance out from Cody Oge and hits it. For 47 damage, you don't even care. Christina shoots and torches one threshing crawler. Okay. We've already cleared like 200 damage on this thing. Oh, Mord wallops the threshing crawler for 54 points of damage, blowing it in a shower of sparks and smashed sprockets. You gonna level up on me, Morty? No. What's this? Some power packs? Sure. What the fuck is a fusion cell and why do I want one? Seven silver stranglers. That's an old erotic asphyxiation bot from before the war. Welcome home, master. Single, single attack. Single tack, tack, tack. Yeah, the fact that these guys are so strong means their energy weapon skill will be popping up. Although I can't remember if I commented on it earlier, is apparently the flamethrower does not have a respective skill. So that's one problem with it. So Christina's gonna miss a lot. There's another one dead. There's another one dead. The Silver Strangler bowls into Tobias Oge for 13 points. Holy Christ. Oh, don't fall out of that. That was a close one. Energy weapons level 4. These guys are fucking strong. How do I get out of here? You hear a clicking of metal and the hum of energy as mechanical horror attacks. One laser hyper mortar and one silicon sniper. We just gotta do a dead run here. The laser hyper mortar is also in range now, okay. 
How the fuck? Can I shoot through that? Do I have to climb through this? Well, these are hypermortar. Let's just try single shots for now. Attack, yep. Single attack. Apparently the flamethrower can shoot 90 feet away. Her misses misses. Uh, we're hitting them. Red Hawk took one out. Energy weapons five on Cody. Man, that fucking paid for itself real quick. Oops, wait, wait, uh, attack, yep. Uh, he should be dead soon, or is it just the hyper? It's just the hyper mortar left. He must have a lot of health. Reload your weapon. Sorry, Red Hawk. There we go. Level 6 energy weapons on that guy. What was that? I think Cody leveled up again. That thing's got a lot of fucking health. I don't want to waste a full auto on it, though. At the same time, though, he's kind of starting to whittle us down, isn't he? Yeah, Red Hawk seemed better. Reload your weapon. Whoops. Attack single. How much fucking health does this abomination have? Now I do want to go full auto. There. The sloped concrete walls of the base's dome are steep and covered with metal barbs, so we will not be climbing inside. The weapons pod is jammed on the broken robot, so it cannot retract fully. That's good. This section of gray concrete wall appears pockmarked with bullet holes. Where the fuck do I go? Am I gonna climb out of here? Who's my climber? Horatio. You slip and catch yourself on one of the barbs. All right, we can climb out of this thing. It's looked like I just crashed into the robot making part and made this room a little bit easier. All right, we're gonna fucking do our one-off skill macro again. Climb. All right, we're through. Cody, what do you got here? A power converter, sure. Watch out for rascally robots. Some law rockets for Cody. Well, I don't know what he has room. We'll be giving them to Cody later. Fragments of old buildings dot the landscape and obscure clean color lines of sight. What the fuck? I I don't know what the hell a fusion cell does. Man, like, everybody's at max inventory. This is getting a little... Heard you like fucking power packs. Remember to use energy weapons on this dungeon, everybody. Like, if once Red Hawk's topped up, that's it. It's not like I can fucking go and leave these power packs somewhere for later. A servo motor, sure. Just let me through. What do we have here? You hear a clicking of metal and the hum of energy as mechanical horror attacks. One Mark 10 turbo Misan cannon, two stainless steel flechette rifles. This might suck. Power armor's handling some of it. Red Hawk's gonna fucking drop before we get there. Yep. Oh fuck, they might actually just kill Morty here. He's not mortally wounded yet. All right, fucking that. This is a dangerous fight, so full auto, please. Full auto, tag. 
Strike low. Did she just grab another flamethrower? I think she did. Fuck. Don't fucking get Morty into crit. All right. The stainless steel rifles are all that's left now. I have a little bit higher hope to kill those ones. Come on, that's the end of the fight. Um, I wonder if it's actually safe enough to sleep outside the base, like on the map, and heal there. Who's my best doctor at? Fucking like, who cares? They'll level up just slapping some sense into Mort. Two skill doctors, seven. Okay. Who wants loot? Horatio. A plasma coupler. God damn it. I don't know what these things do. Enter location? No. A steel reaver appears. Hit the dirt. You're being attacked. Not so fast. That got him. More power packs. Something tells me this place would have been living hell. Okay, I need this ROM board. If we have, we're gonna have to fucking fix another robot. Max might be in there again or something. All oh, right, these Visa cards don't do anything. I forgot to comment on that. Uh, once the toaster is fixed, it doesn't do anything. We'll just leave these here in a little robot graveyard. Pick that shit back up. A titanium gate blocks your path. Painted on it is an old sign, barely visible, denoting this is base Cochise. Alright, we just gotta try to use all the fucking keys we found. We'll start off with the pulsar key. That doesn't seem to work. Black Star. Nope. Quasar. Nope. Man, I got a lot of shit on Cody I could get rid of. I don't think we need the sec passes anymore. Can you just break this down? The badly dented cello brigade lies smashed flat against the wall. Wow. Well, that's one way in. Good work. Good work, Tobias. This one's a little bit stronger. All right. Let me in. Um, let's try then to start throwing keys at it again. Nope. Black star. Nope. Hmm. I don't think this gate's gonna fucking break down if a guy with 40 strength can't throw that many macros at it. A massive titanium door fixed, but the base Kochi seal stands before you. There is a slot in the center of it. Alright, definitely need to use a key. I'm dumb. Black Star. Nope. Quasar. Nope. Um. Quasar. 
Sonic, I think, was the only other key we, we have. Sonic is just for Vegas, I think. Sonic key. Maybe I do need to use a sec pass. Oh, because it was, um... Didn't Finster give us one? Sec pass seven? Uh, wasn't it? Two? Well, come on now. A? Come on now. Black Star Key, we've used the Black Star Key, haven't we? The Nova Key, nope. Uh, Pulsar. Red Hawk disobeys you, not a good time, dude. Get rid of, um, hang on, we had a Romboard? Fucking Christ. That didn't need to be a real thing. Maybe they just don't do things that put their lives in danger. Get resist your attempts. Plasma coupler, power converter. A slot. A slot for what? Let's perception it. Is this like Pokemon where your party level determines if they disobey you? No, I think it's pure random if they're going to be assholes about it. A massive titanium door fixed with the base Kochi seal stands before you. There's a slot in the center of it. We've done everything, haven't we? What the fuck? You're going to make me use the hint book on the door. Guardian Citadel. Okay. Climb down from the roof, pick lock the front gate, open the second with what? Okay, so I guess we landed on the roof. We climbed down. Could have dropped through the roof with a rope. That was no way to behave to the guests. Ropes, if you use them, you wind up here. Destroyed laser. Well. Climb down the roof, pick lock the front gate, open the second. Open the second with what, though? Smash that one real easy. Open it with what? Uh, pulsar. We'll try all the keys again, just in case I'm an idiot and press the wrong button. for this fucking black star key to do anything, let me tell you. A Visa card. Power pack, power pack. Quasar. Nope. Quasar key. Blood staff, blood staff. I have fucking multiple blood staffs on me still. How did I do that? Fusion cell? I don't fucking know. Does Christina have that she shouldn't? Room key 18, don't need that. The pass key, which is definitely not for here. Do I like fucking plug Finster's head into it? Oh, sec pass B. Whoops. Pfft. Thought Cody had all the sec passes. The gate slides open. Save game. Are there any robots looking for me here? 
Oh, yeah, we can totally fucking get jumped here. Six silver stranglers appear. We will not be sleeping inside base coaches, apparently. Whoops. There we go. Enter location, climbing down. The base interior is cavernous. Escalators north of you go up to the second level. A wall plaque is east of your position. Mort's about to fucking black out though, so let's find somewhere to rest. Get those gates out of the way. Red Hawk, what was this? Power pack. Okay, that's where it is apparently. Oh fucking, please tell me everybody has a canteen. Red Hawk doesn't. What kind of shit do we have to fight here? Wasteland Warriors? I will do that any day of the week. <coughs> I think I'll grab a drink here once we're fully healed. Fade. Fade. I should make a macro here so we can beat these kids up quicker. Yep. Do do do. Whoops. Uh, that I think is full health. Yep. Going back in. Come upon a little used trail which leads you to a place that you never knew existed before. Well, now I do know. Okay, save game. Yes, quick game. No. Uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Everybody's tip top. Grab a drink and we'll explore this place. I think my immediate question is, can I sleep down here? You sure can't. Vertical takeoff and landing. Auto fire robot appears at 20 feet. Not what I was expecting based on the name. I'll be honest. The end. Out of the east, they said. Steel reavers appear. Oh fuck, if there's random fights, this is gonna be trouble. Plaque on the wall, my ass. The titanium alloy walls are very strong and polished enough to resist even laser damage. Another fucking VTOL robot. Electric gun.
Radio this then. Christina just hit Master Grenadier. I like it. What are you doing with your life, though, Christina? Dexterity, I suppose. We need to hit shit. Brody just hit Technical Surge. He's one of my Meeson Cannon boys, isn't he? Let's just dump that into Dex. Now, fuck. Actually, hang on. I want to see if Khan is part of... I want to see if Khan's just raw health or if high Khan actually makes me more resistant to damage. Because I might just be dumping everything into Constitution. Max Khan, the higher this is, the more of a beating you can take before you die. This value is the same as Max in the on-screen statistics. That was not informative at all. I think Khan is just your hit points. If Khan, like, secretly contributed to my AC or something, that would be amazing, but... Does this talk about doctor by chance? Medic? No, fucking, there's totally no indication. Okay. The maximum health points that your character can have. This is the same as max. If this number is highlighted, then your character's picked up a life-threatening illness like radiation poisoning. The closer this value is to max, the closer your character's full strength. When con drops below one, the character becomes unconscious. If the character's condition becomes serious, constitution continues to drop and the character will die. So yeah, we will not be putting it in constitution. Put it in dexterity, just hit shit. Especially considering you have the strongest fucking energy gun in the game, Brody. Uh, Mort finally hit Sergeant on us. And he's our Proton Axe man, give him some Agi. I think the manual says luck somehow is factored into your melee hit chance, but everybody online seems to say that's a load of shit. Are these just escalators? What a whimsical place. Everybody's fucking half dead though, let's hope those were static fights we cleaned out. Uh, where am I? Like, northwest of Vegas. That means I'd have to go all the way to fucking Quartz to buy a canteen, which I'm gonna do. Holy shit, that's a 19 damage? Yep, he got knocked the fuck out. I'm looking for a canteen. There we go. Inventory's full. There we don't go. Gotta be something you fucking sell. Oh, he has one now. There we go. Okay. Will people fight me in this store? They will not. Oh, man, Red Hawk's seen rougher shape. His town is literally in the fucking desert, but he can't handle walking around out there without a canteen. Could you just fucking hurry up and have full health already, Red Hawk? Also, he's got 68 hit points. Then he used to have 70? No, he's just been leveling up. Red Hawk is pretty fucking jacked. Just because he had 60 at level 1. At private. So look at this. It's like he's already blown past Brody. And he's pulled ahead of T Tobias because he started with such high max con. Alright, everybody's got their canteen. So there we go. Silicon snipers. What a waste of ammo, unfortunately. So I, in a way, we're kind of on a time limit here because there's only so many power packs in the game for us. Should 
is a real shame. A voice booms out from everywhere. So you're the ones who have finished him. You should have left well enough alone. Lights flash across the vast wall north of you in time with the voice. The wall ahead of you is alive with red and green LEDs flashing in waves. From top to bottom and side to side, a computer terminal stands before you. It is operational, but nothing is on the screen. You may communicate with me if you wish, but understand, my mission will not fail. Mission? My mission? To repopulate the earth with pure stock once my minions have destroyed all of their life. I will win. Oh, Finster? Finster was a fool. He thought he could rebel, but he was easy to break. If not for me, he would have killed you. Oh. Uh, um. Toe cheese? Trouble not with me, Uh, Stock. Um. Winning lotto numbers. Whoop. Oh, that would have came in handy. You may communicate with Break? Ta! Such a simple temp trick was not meant to work on me. But here's my trick for you. You find yourself suddenly falling through a long, slippery tunnel. Well, that's bad. I think that's a gun there. A door built of titanium bars impedes progress. It is a physical lock beneath the base coach cheese emblem. Well, I can fucking pick locks. On who? My man, Tobias. Lockpick level four, holy Christ. Oh, that was the wrong macro. Or was it? Well, I got another way to fucking break it with Tobias. Ugh, ah, shit. A physical lock. Sec pass. Do I, am I using sec passes or what? Pulsar. Look, these keys got to do something. We've been collecting them. Silvery titanium walls surround you and feel as if they're slowly squeezing in on you. Oh man, I hope it's not actually squeezing in on me. These walls are still quite solid. Do show some evidence of laser burns and other battle scars. I'm worried he might actually crush me if I try to sleep. And I have a lot of health already. No, Red Hawk got fucking shredded a bit, actually. I kind of want to take that armor off Christine and put on Red Hawk, because he's got way more health to take advantage of it. Okay, let's... We tried Pulsar and... Black no Nova. Who's got Nova? Shit. Sec pass B. What the fuck? See nothing special. That's a lie. Oh, it opened. Your attempt at opening the door, however humble it may have been, is successful. What the hell is this? A security monitor panel is set into the wall at this point. What? I see anything special. What if I smash him? You successfully damage it beyond any useful function. Oh yeah, fucking where it's on now. Ugh. Well, let's open this kit up. Let's start making some fucking macros, I think. U, 5, attribute, strength. So F3 is lockpick, F4 is strength. Do, 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 nothing happens. This is empty. Ugh. 
Sliding under the panel in the wall come Octotrons. These armed robots are formidable foes. One Octotron and another Octotron. Holy shit. If you get hit, it's your own fault. I wonder if I should be bursting more. I think I'll be a little more liberal with the power packs until we can find a way back out safely. Attack, whoops. Get a rate attack, yep. We got one. I got that one. Sprays Tobias always for 10 damage. I have fucking power armor on, dude. Thanks for the XP, though. Two hunters appear. Robots don't like humans very much, except when using them for target practice. Hoo <laughs> hoo. It's a shame they're always so far away. I think proton axes would uh, give these things a run for their money. Physical lock. Oh, your attempt at opening the door, however humble, interrupts these two robots having a jacking off contest. Octotrons and more Octotrons. I'll just show myself out. I'll just show myself out. Okay. Um, what do you think the odds are that I can sleep here? Zero. Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes right on my ass. And of course, fucking Mort's blacked out again. Now, what do you think of the chances are at autosave down here to fuck me? Because I think the chances are a thousand percent. Tack, tack. First, tack, yes. Okay, we are in fucking real trouble here if there's nowhere to rest. Tack, first, first, tack, tack. Red Hawk is now severely wounded. Well, seriously, I always say severe. Yes. Well, that's a bunch of XP for Toby, but let's make her F5. We'll be Doctor. Who's our Doctor? Horatio, probably. Yep. Oops, things are all just looking at me. Fuck it. Really need to get out of here. A threshing crawler. Sure. Gonna work, Cody. Radio in how we're fucking trapped down here. Mayday, mayday. Cody, helicopter pilot, and he's also my medic. Uh, well, Cody's also in charge of the Meeson cannon, so dexterity. Toby, professional shit stomper. Tobias, Mord, and Red Hawk are on the fucking verge of death. A stylish metal cage door keeps you away from a computer console. The lock is fairly weak and simple. Did I hear radiation? I did. Inside you find a command console. The keyboard is locked. And the screen reports inside is a 99% robot. Inside you find a command console. The keyboard is locked and the screen reports inside is a 99% complete roll. Okay, well, fucking be super careful. There's fucking something radioactive in here. Any 
99% complete robot, 99% complete robot, 99% complete robot. Very careful. I think that's it on the other side of the wall there, actually. What? On a small CRT, you see the words break in program. Yes. Syntax error? Yeah, no shit. Four titanium clires appear. Uh, load gun, attack first. Attack. Here we go. You know what? Let's just look in the hint book if I was supposed to do that. Maybe that was a terrible idea. You can listen to the wonderful radi radiation noise in the background. <laughs> Chose not to say break. Geiger counter is definitely going up. Radioactive muck, yep. Robot making machines. Extend bridge. Found a computer whose sole purpose in life is to extend the bridge to traverse. If it weren't for that bridge, we would have had to put on radiation suits, which we didn't have. We safely crossed my way to the building. Oh, fuck. Run, and then if you type admin, a robot named Bax is spit out of the unit for an administrative robot. He had an awesome constitution, so we asked him to join our party. Well, fuck. An Octotron. Not sure how to get across that radiation. This can't be the end of the line for us. That'd be silly. Seriously wounded again. F five was doctor. These walls look quite solid. Do you show some evidence? Oh shit, I don't have a radiation suit. Unless Vax is radiation proof and we can send him over. Oh god! Tag burst. This fight's got to fucking end, like, right now. Thank you. Whoops. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Fuck. 
fucking oh right there's a bunch of octotrons in here the northeast room power armor uh, so yeah we have to fucking we gotta clean this room out and then we might just have to sacrifice Vax to um get that bridge open octotrons appear But he's going full out of here, I don't care. Get the fuck out, because now Tobias is in shit shape. Well, he's been in shit shape for a while. Who else is in here? There's some. Your gun's empty. Uh, this auto attack, attack, things on auto. Take attack, yep. How many are still allowed to fuck me? Quite a few. Load attack. Full auto. Attack. Full auto. This is how you run out of power packs, I guess. Shit like this. But this fight needs to go away right now. Here we go. Red Hawk's in trouble again. Here we go. Okay, uh, we got fucked on autosave, so let's just save it. Let's just admit that our fate is doomed. All right, Morty. Mort can't get any. There it is. Everybody gets power armor now. Uh, six. Oh, we can't get any because he's unconscious. Okay. Throw these Visa cards away, Mort. What are you doing? Morton Redhawk are the guys I actually want picking shit up, and I can't. Holy Christ, we fucking tore through a lot of power packs so far just to get here. Brody? Uh, Tobias. Tobias Hoge can't get any because he's unconscious. Well, just fucking just. I need these, but I can't. I can't stand around and heal. Oh, fucking Christ! Horatio's gonna go down. Christina's gonna go down. We are in trouble here. There's nowhere to fucking sleep. Actually, maybe. Oh, in the northeast room. Still was sorting with the weapons when the series of their tasks. It seems pretty quiet here. Let's rest up before we wrap it up. Holy fuck, am I allowed to sleep here? You fucked me. You fucked me, hint book. Everybody's just firing full auto to make room for the, uh... Yep, now we're in trouble. Now we are in trouble. Drop some random shit, dude. We don't need the ruby ring anymore. Don't need the visa card anymore. Blood staff. Someone can come here and get it if they want. Visa card. There we go. There's nowhere to sleep. We're running out of fucking people. Who wants loot? Cody does. Power armor. your gun. Yeah. Xenon laser cannon. There we go. We're 
run. Admin. That's the friendly robot, okay. Disband. Red Hawk, not permanently. But you go here. One Vax appears. Looking stylish, my friend. Norman roster, fuck. We have to sacrifice somebody to get across that bridge. It's gotta be Red Hawk. Red Hawk is ripped, but... Silver Strangler. Oh, fuck, it can't be Red Hawk, though, because he'll black out the second he touches that shit. The radiation will get him. Load, load, load. Attack, attack, single attack, attack. A bridge raises, uh, rises over the radioactive waste pile. The center of the is retracted, and the controls are on the other side of the waste. Fuck, who's, got, who's strong enough to make it across fucking two? Nobody. All my fucking NPCs are at one hit point. We're doomed. Doomed. Kind of annoyed that I can't fucking get this dude. Axe's help, we destroyed the machines from whence he came. That was a small obsession. God damn it. Landmines level three. How big is this place? Final level. The problem is, uh, we're fucking doomed. Something tells me we're not allowed to sleep in those prison cells either. Quirk of fate, we're allowed to sleep in these. Holy Christ. It's a fucking miracle. Thank you, spooky AI, for letting me sleep in my cell. Damn it, though, we have to sacrifice somebody. We didn't keep a single radiation suit. Our bridge rises over the radioactive waste pile. The center is retracted, and the controls are on the other side of the waste. Yeah, we're gonna have to have somebody swim across, turn the computer on for us, drop that from radiation poisoning, and then we hire Vax. But whom? Whom are we going to doom? It's a rhetorical question because Christina has fucking no... Oh fuck, Christina's got a whole bunch of shit I want though. Flamethrowers, whatever, but she's got a lot of power packs. What is that? 9 times 3 is 27 plus 3 is 30, so everybody's allowed to have 30 items. Unfortunately, everybody has 30 items. He's a little low. Well, I'm fucking very sorry, Christina, but you have to do your duty to save the world. No. Oh fuck, don't tell me there's guns in the way. <laughs> oh! They're guarding the console! What do I 
do. You just stand your ground, actually. This party is not being attacked, but you're going to help anyways. No one is within range. You just got to run, Christina. You just got to run and hope you don't die. She's already fucked. <laughs> She's already fucked. Oh, there it goes. There goes that fucking plan. Yeah, what if robots were guarding it? No room and roster, though. You can't view this party. Um, fuck. Let's see how the autosave fucked me there. So power armor doesn't protect you from radiation because Christina's wearing some. This was right before I picked up the power armor. And we learned that we could sleep in the cells. Okay. This is tricky, because I actually can't fight the robots from where I am. So I gotta send several people over, but... What the fuck, game? You really screwed me on this. A threshing crawler appears. can't take it. Red Hot can take one. What else can you take? Equip the power armor. Some of these power packs gotta go. Who wants loot? Actually, hang on. Mort, I need you to fucking sort your shit out with this Visa card. You don't need it. Drop. There we go. Should be a lot less unconscious Mort's as we continue. Well, rookie fucking move not bringing a rad suit, I guess, but even then. Like we learned with Christina, there's too many robots over there in the way. Uh, everybody's got 14 AC, so... Of course, they're not fucking... There's no hollow walls I can take advantage of. How the fuck do I get over there? Silicon snipers appear. Just fucking shred me. Just shred through that power armor. They're also burst firing, which is not very friendly. Because, you know, they have infinite ammo, so they can just do that if they want. How fucking many are there? Thank you. One Xenon laser cannon. We can do some pretty good damage with those proton axes, so I should probably try to close the gap more when they're close. 
It's time to sleep again, by the way. Holy shit. I don't have any tricks up my sleeve for this place. <sighs> Inside you find a command console, the keyboard's locked and the screen forms. God damn it. Run. Oh shit. Whoops! <laughs> oh my god! The aft segment of the pod opens in a cloud of smoke. The gray vapor clears and a robot stands erect. One hunter appears. That's not what I wanted to do at all. How the fuck am I going to get across this radioactive muck? I gotta do all that fucking inventory juggling again. Cause I am a smarty smart pants. No, 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 I actually saved it like a, I got a better save this time. One killer appears, where are you? Oof. Ion Beamer jammed. That's new. Threshing Crawler. I've thought about it, Fat Cow. Need a better computer. Uh, Victoria McMahon, we're playing Wasteland. Brody is my. He's my mason gunner, so give him some decks. just made. He's just made it of con. Six. He's got 70. He's got 70. Oh, it's 68 because we haven't confirmed the level up yet. Give him more decks. Just everybody's got decks. They need to hit shit. Our bridge rises over the radioactive waste pile. The center is retracted and the controls are on the other side of the waste. This does not seem like a situation I can successfully complete. I might be able to throw a rope, but I don't have any. I don't think the other one was much more help. Survival guide. Holy fuck, what do you say we back away from this radiation while I think? Still making that noise, huh? There you go. Citadel, Savage Village, Base Cochise. Radioactive muck. There's no secret fucking walls for me to take advantage of here. I got boned, I think. With Vax's help, we destroyed the machines for much. God damn it. Let's at least summon Vax. Admin. There he is. A stylish metal cage door keeps you away from the computer console. The lock is fairly weak and simple. Thought I, I can open this one. Inspect this guy. You see nothing special. Ouch, sorry, Vax.
Well, our only hope here really is save game, yes, quick game, no, is we have to hope that Vax um, doesn't get attacked by those robots. Disband Christina forever, yes, this is your new home, Christina. Hire one Vax. Hi, my name is Vax, Human Cyborg Relations. What the hell can you do, Vax? Got 60 con, 30 strength. Holy shit. He's only a corporal. Holy shit. He's a male and he hails from the United States of Cyborgs. I guess United States of Androids would have been the joke there. 40 luck. I'm sorry, Christina, but this guy's better than you. He's wearing power armor. He's wearing a laser rifle. He's carrying pseudo chitin armor for some reason. He is the ultimate being. Tobias Oge raised his brawling skill to level 6. That means he has four turns now. I think. I just need to run with the melee guys, get them into fucking attack range. That fight's over. Okay, Vax, don't fucking die over there. Do not disband Vax forever. Yep, the old radioactive Vax robot. Your ears tear and a ringing fills your ears. Well, that was fun. Wasteland 1, the original classic. God damn it, I just... You cannot be in range. I have to, like, full auto those robots, and Vax has to fucking turn on the thing, but then Vax will die of the fucking radiation poisoning. Fuck this room. We have to literally sacrifice somebody. We can't throw Vax away, because, of course, cyborgs can die from radiation poisoning. Why the fuck not? Yes. Load, load, load. Band, Christina, no. Yes, fucking no one was within range. Fuck the devil. Fuck the devil in hell. We weren't a good spot to beat the game tonight, but I have been stopped by a pool of radioactive sludge. There's no rope, there's no like fucking saving grace in the room for me. I can't walk across and get healed. I'll die radiation poison walking back to needles to cure it. Hello? Oh, just robots. Dead. This really fucking sucks. Kind of amazing they managed to survive two proton axes. Managed to pick up. The thick metal walls have scratches, still seem quite solid.
Something tells me I can't like blow through with an RPG that make my life too easy. One. Nothing happens. These RPGs for me. Christina doesn't have any room. I have utterly no idea what to do. Because like, I think Horatio and Brody have clones back in Sleeper Base, but... We don't have enough people. We can't send enough people across that fucking bridge to kill the robots. And Vax is apparently not immune to radiation, which is kind of stupid. problem with Red Hawk having so much health. I mean, I fucking found myself in some sticky pickles in this game, but is this the end of the line? Oh no you don't. Tech single. Lots of scratches on them from robot limbs, but they still seem quite solid. Jesus Christ. this in? Have we beaten up enough babies? Mort is still a sergeant. But he's a very agile sergeant. Red Hawk, Command Corporal. Am I gonna get out of this dilly of a pickle I found myself in? I've already tried to send people across. They died of the radiation poisoning because we're trapped down here. And they get gang banged by fucking robots if they make it across. Bit of a dick move. The fucking the hint book really seems to think I was gonna come down here without getting dumped by the computer.
No, everybody seems to fucking assume that I didn't get. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to die this way.
So what I think we have to do is we just have to back up our save, which I really hope I did, or the entire, uh, if, if I saved it wrong, the entire playthrough is unsalvageable. Uh, attack single, single. guys on my way. I fucking just slept wasteland. The fuck? I got enough money to cure the radiation poisoning, it's just too fucking far away. Is there a doctor in Las Vegas? Oh fuck, there has to be. Or I'm doomed. Uh carry up. Load, load, load. Save game. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I backed up the save a moment ago. Well, fuck, just time to suicide. Extend. The British slowly extends and locks in position. A bunch of asshole robots appear. Shit I don't need right now. Sec pass. Who has fucking sec pass B? Brody. It's gotta be Brody. Yeah, there it is. That doesn't seem to work. What? Which one fucking works on the base Koshis? Um. Pulsar. It's fucking for sure, Psych Pass B. Let me in. Oh fuck, it's all my my formation's all fucked up. How we doing here? Yeah, fucking a bunch of people that are gonna drop that before you can even get to a doctor. Is there even a fucking doctor in uh, Vegas? Very unimpressed with this fucking floor, by the way. It's like, oh, if you save fucking break, your entire save file's gone. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy that thought that was funny. All right, Vegas. Is there a doctor in Vegas? I think there's a hospital at the north end. Hospital, right there. So we enter at the top left. We just gotta get the fuck out of here, though. Problem is this fucking door won't open. Not Pulsar, not Black Star. Quasar item Sonic No no two item Oh 
suck past B, you know, the one that should fucking open it. I'm already flying by the seat of my pants here, and this door has to come and give me guff. Is it the Nova key? Open the fucking door. No, physical lock is lockpick, right? Or... There we go. What do you think that's gonna do? A ladder that goes down. No, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Entering a one-way force field. Is the radiation not... The radiation... I'm radioactive, but it's not hurting me? What? Did we do it? Huh. That changes everything. Maybe that, huh. Now I don't know what to think. Maybe I ran to Vegas really fast, or maybe as long as you're wearing the power armor, it doesn't kill you inside it. doesn't change the fact that Vax is fucking amazing, so we're gonna fire Christina and go get him. We somehow did it. How do I get back down there, though? Save game, yes, quick game now. Yep. Threshing crawler appears, silicon sniper appears. I'll be fine ish. Hmm. Power pack. What is that thing? Laser pod blaster, laser pod blaster, laser pod blaster. Neat. Full out of those for me, fellas. And lady. Well, not for long, Christina. It's gonna turn this into a sausage party. Not that I have a problem with female characters, just the only two in the game are a young child, and well, actually, Christina fucking really helped out. But he's way better at everything than Christina, and he also has way more help than Christina, who is actually the weakest character right now, con-wise. There's that fight. The destroyed carcass of the lasers jammed the weapon pot open. It might provide an entrance further into the base. Really? Ugh. Jam the weapon pot open. Oh, I might need a rope. Threshing Crawler. Find yourself suddenly falling through a long, slippery tunnel. Enter new location, yep. So 
Looks like I managed to fucking snatch defeat from the jaws of victory or victory from the jaws of defeat. One of those things. I managed to not fuck up too much for like the seventh time in this playthrough. Holy Christ. Fight went on way too fucking long. All right, everybody, let's go fucking pick backs up. Steal Reavers. You have to wonder what the purpose of the Silicon Sniper's little bouncy head is. Maybe he's always generating energy for himself. Maybe he's a perpetual motion machine. Or maybe it's if you try to hit him on the head with a sledgehammer, he just bounces it back off like a very poorly made battle bot. See, man, this guy won't go down. Considering he was getting chopped with a proton axe, I'm very surprised he didn't go down. Seven thousand for everybody. Okay. Vax, is he gone forever? You worthless little fuck. fucking right to Christina's face we said we were going to get rid of her. Come with us to the basement. You're fired. Good thing we didn't fire her in the center of Vegas and continue the game with six people. Though. Smash him to fucking death. Uh, yeah, I think we fucked up and Vax just got beat to shit while we were gone. Ooh, rooms we never need to come back to, though. This place. Wild canine appears. Hey, that's great, fellas. Let's find somewhere to sleep, like here. I normally don't play grand strategy games because they're so slow, fat cow. I enjoy playing them, and I make no progress. Everybody's fairly tip top, okay. Let me guess, there's some um, fucking. There's gonna be laser cannons on this wall, too. Evade, load. What do they need? There they are. Closer, there we go, one more turn. To auto, tag to auto, tag, tag to auto. There we go. So that's not the way down. This is uh, Cody, take these. Ratio, take those. The destroyed carcass of the lasers jammed the weapon pot open. It might provide an entrance further into the base. <sighs> I think I gotta go back and buy a rope. Which sucks because we have to go all the way to Needles. Not that far, I guess. Get my fucking order sorted out here. 
Cody Horatio. Brody. Actually, hang on. Six months. Guns first, melee last, because the melee guys are always going to be breaking off and fucking up the formation, but I wish I put the NPCs in the front, because they auto attack. There. That's a good formation. I need a lot of fucking ropes. Three. Pull money. No. Who's got room? Do you think? Probably Horatio. No, I think Horatio's full too. Sell ropes. I have two ropes. I'll be very upset if that's not enough. I know sometimes YouTube streams are simultaneously Twitch streams as well. I do I do stream on both, Salador. So you can watch whichever website works best for you. I know a lot of people have problems with Twitch, so they come and watch it on YouTube. I just walked into a fucking cactus. I walk into a cactus a lot when I monologue. Oh, you just missed a lot of fun, Thaco. You missed a whole bunch. No, okay. Let's try to use that rope on the weapon pod. The rope. That doesn't seem to work. The destroyed carcass lasers jam the weapon pod open. It might provide an entrance further into the base, but Tobias can't smash it. That doesn't seem to work. Can I lock pick it? Skill lockpick. I don't know what to do. No idea what to do. Load. Go. That is a lot of fucking XP. Like if you just wanted to load up on skills, you could do it here. Five hunters appear. It's a shame, I think there's only two Proton Axes in the entire game, because otherwise I would really like to try an all Proton Axe build. Close the gap and then you just chop, chop, chop. You got double XP, so you could probably like dump it all into fucking con and stuff. See you later, that robot. There was a ladder that took us further down. So that is how we will be progressing. Enter location further down, you bet. Okay. You see oily pipes running the length of the room over to a ledge where some kind of control panel is located. Below the pipes is hot bubbling oil. It doesn't look like everyone can make it across at once. Oh, so you just want me to fucking like American gladiators one by one and burn to death if I fuck it up? No. A large movable steel panel. Nothing happens. Lock pick please. High hopes for busting that down. Let's try the keys. The Nova key. Nope. Nova key. It's like past B. Nope. Ah, uh, how did I get through the last one? Did I punch it? I think I lockpicked it. happens. Cody. Set pass two. Nope. Cody. Set pass three. Uh, pulsar. Nope. Pulsar. Set pass A. No. Nope. 
Black Star. Black at Christ. How do I open this thing? Sleeper base. <sighs> That's Finster shit. Queen Citadel. Savage Village. There we go. There we go. Two next level. We're on level three already. Okay, we came in here. Bars. The four funny rooms. We tried to pass through the south door, but keys, rockets, and threats didn't work. Eugene looked to a side room and saw a oh, pocket Christ. Shimmying with agility over one of the slippery bars and rocking perilously from side to side. Using agility? I have some very agile characters in my party right now. Okay, one. Uh, Christina, no. Cody's 20. Tobias is 22. Tobias is good at everything. Everything that's necessary. Tobias. Up. Alright. Use your agility skill. Use attribute agility at three. You all fumble and get scorched by the oil. Uh, apparently, I shouldn't have been using my skill, I should have just been walking. Uh, don't you fucking fall. Don't you fucking fall. What do you want to do with vault door number one? Open it, you idiot computer. Man, these checks are really cool, but my armor always absorbs it. Oh well. Hitbook saved us there. Use your agility. This one's also locked. What is this? This room is rather plain except for the 10x10 steel sheets covering the floor. Um, I think the handbook said this place is filled with landmines, so we'll just use our perception skill constantly. Perception 4. Perception nothing. Perception 4. Perception 2. Perception 3. Parasite, yes, I'm okay. Once again, it's up to Tobias. Spot some landmines. Thank you, by the way, Tobias. Whoop! Oh, never mind. Apparently Red Hawk's in charge of finding them all for us. Well done, everybody. What do you want to do with Vault Door number two? Open that shit right up. Oh, fuck, in this room give me some chip challenge flashbacks. By the way, never playing that game, though. Xenon laser cannons. What's in the wall cover there? A bunch of shit that's about to get auto-fired. Oh wow, they actually walked away from that. Lotto, Lotto, Lotto. I'm actually a little impressed. I would just never want to play through Chip's Challenge on camera. It's a very long game. It's like one of the few computer games I played back in the day. Also, talking about Chip's Challenge implies that I'm good at Chip's Challenge. Load. Tack. There's just one left. Oh, come on now. The end. Well, let me guess this one's also locked. Let's get our order fixed here. There we go. Save the input game. Nope. 
Entering the environmental testing facility. You hear lightning. Well, there's clearly something in front of me that's dangerous. I think Redhawk's a super perceptive one now. Perception 6. Redhawk disobeys you. Thanks, man. This is going to really hurt. 11. I might be able to sleep it off. Nothing in here is to fight me. Oh yeah, we can sleep that shit right off. Hope you like that sleeping noise, because we're going to be doing a bit of that. It's very windy here. Okay, it's very cold here. Brr, it's so fucking cold. Open this door, please. The electric ones hurt the most. Fucking North getting blacked out on me. Ugh, it's got some fucking sting to it. Let's just sleep at the door like vagrants. It's, they don't talk about that in the fucking memoirs of the Rangers. They'd curl up in doorways to heal up and lick their wounds. Never gonna find a statue of that. Just seven dudes passed out. Snake squeezins all around. One more fucking challenge lays ahead of me, apparently. Entering the combat simulator. Well, those things are gonna fight me. Three killers appear. Let's play it a little slow here, see what we're dealing with. Subatomic particle burst from burst from gun. And one's dead, the other one's dead. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm worried about this thing though. It looks like a turret. It's because it is. Remember we learned that if you shoot something in the center of the list, it spills out onto each side. Wonderful spin. Level 7 energy weapons. I saw that scroll by. Who's left? Local to evade. <laughs> that flamethrower is not fucking breaking the bank against these cannons, that's for sure. Doing like 2 damage. Holy fuck, they're all still there. There we go. Uh, this one's probably a better one to fight. I want to get right next to him though. Oh, Mord, what happened, fella? What the hell happened to you? Open the final door, please. Oh, no! They can attack me out here. We gotta go back in the environmental room. By the way, combat's going to be fucked up because I just pressed sleep a bunch of times. Uh, dun, 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 dun. 
Ten. It's going to be a bit of a wait. There we go. Attack. I think it's... No, there's a couple of them. Uh, run on your own. Run on your own. Let's go sleep in the fucking windy electrified chilling room. The super fridge? Open the door. I open the door. Open. Hey, snot. I think they send it in the mail. All right, we're going back. Uh, the hint book implied this is the final level, so how are we doing for items? She's got, well, we bought way too many fucking flamethrowers for that girl, by the way. If you don't want to waste skill points, just make someone a very dexterous flamethrower user. They become shit in base coaches, though. Red Hawk. He's fine. Unless the boss is literally 25 robots stapled together, I think we've got enough power packs. Actually, hang on. Cody's a little low. Cody's tapped out. He's fine too. Okay, we're back in. What the fuck is this place? The way is blocked by heavy titanium steel door. There's a card slot in the center. All right, this has to be something new with the fucking 25 keys we've collected. God damn it! Please use the pulsar key. Finally, no. Black Star, holy Christ. Quasar, nope. Is it the Nova Key? Who's got the Nova Key? Sonic. Man, if you've ever played a game where they throw keys away the instant they're not useful anymore, and you say, why would they do this? It's because of games like this. It's because of games where I have to keep every key just in case. This door is harder to open than it appears. Well, fucking Tobias is great at that. Skill? Lockpick? This door's harder to open than it appears. Help me out here, hint book. The final level, here we go. Ace rolled out a map we had never seen before and asked us to gather around for the lowdown. He explained to us what we had to do and we hardly suggested that we not screw up this late in the game. Holy shit! Here we found a machine that'll let us reduce the frequency of security units being released? Eugene didn't need any convincing on our part to use his electronic skills to make it work. We don't have that. This is where the robots went to get the most out of their metallic lives. Kate blew up the computer that controlled the conveyor belts, which completely set down the system. Okay. OSHA. There was nothing here. Nothing except for the Silver Strangler. The reactor core room. We didn't have radiation suits. Thank you again to our lack of planning. 
Stu, who is becoming more and more curious, to, uh, told us to follow his exact footsteps. One black stair. Okay, okay. So only certain parts of it will be radioactive, and we don't want to go in here. Oh, fuck. We do have to go into the OSHA room. So we got to go into each room, blow shit up. Da, 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 da. We have to split up to do this? Holy shit. Everybody has to take a key to a different room. But that's it, I think. We just gotta fucking clear this room and we're set. We made it to the end of Wasteland, everybody. Save game. Uh, I, Let's make sure we can go back up. We can go back up. Way is blocked by a heavy titanium steel door. There is a card slot in it. Use the sec pass B or whatever. One particle beam Gatlin appears at 60. Oh shit. Shred him. We got power packs to spare. Load attack, auto. Okay, fuck, which which one do we want first? Bottom right. So decrease security. Robot maintenance room. Can't even read what the fuck this says. We gotta blow this room up. Card slot, use the old trusty sec pass B. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Security electronics room. Pulse is it the pulsar key? Nope. Um seven punch it. How the fuck did sec pass B not get us in? Oh boy. Okay. Pulsar key, we've tried. Sec pass A, nope. Mm -hmm. Black star, no. Use Quasar. How the fuck do I get in here? Here we find a machine the last year. Does anybody have the electronic skill, by the way? If anybody, it'd be Christina. She knows a little bit of everything somehow. Except this. Red Hawk, by some fucking incredible stroke of luck, no? What about her man Mort? No, okay. That's bad. Maybe Vax could have used it. This one door won't open, though. That's a problem. There's a card slot missing. Let's try this. The Nova Key? Is the Nova Key used on one of these? Quasar. Bottom right is Pulsar. Top right is Nova. Top left is Blackstar. Uh, how do I get in these fucking doors, though? All right, there's the radiation. We can see it because it's not on the wall in front of you. Are two arrows with messages? An arrow-shaped plaque on the wall points to the right. The message on it reads "Reactor Core Room." The arrow on the wall indicates the OSHA room to the left. Card slot in the center. I can't get these fucking doors open. Nova key, pulsar key. Oh boy. God damn it. 
all the things to get snagged up on. It's got to be one of the sec passes. Yeah, but it's not B. That's crazy. What the fuck? Is it lockpick? Am I supposed to lockpick when this happens? I forget. Seven skill lockpick. Doesn't seem to work. This door is harder to open than it appears. I think that means it'll work. Oh, fuck. It's recording too long. Okay, you seven an attribute. One. Do 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 it's super fucking strong. Skill one pick. That doesn't seem to work. Ah, <sighs> blow with a law or something? I'd be surprised. Cause I think I'm as strong as a fucking law now. Oh, nope, RPGs do it. Okay, save game. Cause there's something in there I don't want to be fucking around with. Go. Where are you? Read paragraph 118. Little pieces of door all over the floor. 118. You see an empty room with a small square room in the corner. On the floor is an intricate diamond pattern. You remove magnifying glass from your back pocket, get down on all fours, and begin to carefully study the pattern of dots. What? A robot rises from the floor in front of you. It starts to wrestle with you. Your superior brawling skills defeated the robot. Hey, great. So I guess just uh, my brawling is so high there's a chance that I don't have to fight these guys. Flotto, flotto, flotto. Dead. The floor in front of you slowly opens and a giant robot rises up to block your path. A fusion octotron. Well, we didn't full auto, apparently, so we're going to do that now. It's dead. Holy shit. Ghastly pool on the floor. How do I get in? The walls are made of a shiny, indestructible alloy. Um, how do I get in? Quasar key. Who's got Quasar? Am I over leveled for this? I don't think so. Walls are made of a shiny, indestructible ally. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking leave then. Quick game. Okay, blow this one. Where's the other RPG? Yeah, there's Law. Psh, I don't wanna shoot the RPG. Okay, careful everybody. Read paragraph 47. As you scan over the large messy room, you think to yourself, early American pigsty. Piles of dirt cover the long lost floor. The earth and smell of compost hangs heavy in the air. In the far corner of this indoor barnyard, you spot a square shaped room. In front of you is a floor-to-ceiling glass steel wall. Beyond are the reactor controls. I have a rocket launcher. The wall is shattered into a thousand pieces. You were lucky it didn't get cut. Before you is the main power panel in the reactor core. It appears to have a missing part and is not functional. If there's one thing I have, it is parts. Plasma coupler. Nothing seems to happen on the panel, but in the distance you hear a low rumble. All stations powered, announces a low computer voice. Oh fuck, I probably should have shredded the computer building machine, the, the robot building machines before I uh, 
turn the power on. Let's hope it's not shitting out guys back to back. Oh wait! That might have just unlocked all the key rooms. That's what it did. Okay, good. Particle beam Gatlin. Uh, uh, no, never mind. I can probably handle this. Yep. Should be one right there. Yep. Oh shit, that just fucking cut Cody right up. Well, let's go upstairs and sleep that shit right off. Use Horatio's doctor skill on Cody. Perfect. Whoa, shit. I'll just be on my way. Don't sleep in the combat simulator. Tag, 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 yep. Everybody's just unconscious, we're fine. I was very glad I defeated that robot instantly, but I also think I'm on the. Going on what Fat Cow said earlier, though, I don't think I'm over leveled because I think there's like. 20 or 30 ranks and we're definitely not at max rank I think somebody swung by earlier in the stream when we were just starting the game and they said that you can keep gaining levels you just don't rank up so you keep getting stat points and I don't know I don't know if we're over leveled the, the difficulty is all over the place it's like when I was trapped down in the basement that was pretty fucking terrifying, but now that we uh, can like leave and sleep, it's not going that poorly for us. Let's everybody load their gun. Need some cannon. Only holds ten, so let's not waste a clip on that. Titanium claws. They would attack me here. Blow this door. Who's got the fucking blowy uppies? This dude. Read paragraph 130. You're drawn into a large room filled from floor to ceiling with countless computers. The flashing lights and video screens bring the room to an eerie life. Through the glow of colors, you spot a small square room in the far corner. Yes, yes, yes. A message on a screen reads security check interval. Many lights and wires make up this. You see a square with all four corners lit up. What the hell are these things? This is a tall rectangular of metal. Okay. See a gray oval with five light panels on it. Okay. Two laser pod blasters attack. Alright, well, we're almost at the end, Thaco. I was planning on playing it until I was done, but it looks like we'll probably wrap at the usual time. That... Which thing am I smashing in here? Decreases security, is that little rascal? Security check interval. Um, you know what? Just smash it. That doesn't seem to work. Well, that's gonna suck, so we're gonna have to leave a dude behind, make a break for it, and hope he doesn't get jumped. So I guess that'll be the tricky part. So there's seven of us, but there's only four keys, so we'll have a group of three people escort them to the final room. I think is the OHSA room. I don't think anybody will spawn in there. It looks like this bottom right room would be the most dangerous because it's just farting out robots on us. Um, Horatio, you have any more RPGs for us? You have some laws. I am the law. Read paragraph 79. And what I'm going to do right after this is grab a drink. Thirsty. 
You've entered a room where dozens of drills and saws are singing an ear-piecing song. Blue and white sparks jump from welders and cutters dropping to the ground to bounce out their brief lives. A robot torso passes before you as it lumbers its way across the room on one of the countless conveyor belts. Even the robot repair area looks in need of repair, with the roof and wall supports laying exposed. In the far corner, you notice, surprise, a square-shaped room. All right, we'll be back. Two killers appear. A security robot attacks you from a hidden door. Shocking. The end. No one but a super genius would be able to understand the workings of this machine. Who's got the best IQ? Brody. Tribute to nothing happens. Well, fuck you too. Machinery is very delicate here. Whoops. I fell onto the machine, and the machines are just cutting the shit out of me. Okay, you are not a repairable robot. Get out. All of your dents are being pounded out of you. It's a little erotic. What do you say we shoot a fucking bazooka at this piece of shit? The conveyor belt sounds like it is destroying itself as it grinds to a halt. Which lets me get over the little room, okay. What if I just shred this with a rocket too? Horatio's got them all. Five. That doesn't seem to work. Well, fuck you then. Going upstairs to sleep. So is this like some sort of copy protection? Because nobody talks about using the keys or splitting up or doing any of these things. It's like you're not allowed to beat the game unless you get this far with the hint book. That can't be right. Well, maybe it was a different time to make video games. But Vax never really commented on it. Carved in the wall, the arrow's message indicates that the robot maintenance room is on the left. Security electronics. 30, okay. A force field blocks me, what the fuck? Oh, maybe that's how you figure out you have to do them in a certain order. Force field blocks you. Looks like I can split up pretty safely. I don't see any monsters. Any combat. Oh, shit! We're gonna go get that fixed, let me tell ya. Fucking die. Don't die, anybody. Yeah, it looks like you cannot die of radiation poisoning as long as you stay in your armor. I also like how I'm pretty sure this guy is even... Th even the guy in Las Vegas is cheaper than Darwin. That piece of shit Darwin doctor. Cure that. Yeah, 
I did almost get fucking wiped out by passive radiation. The deadliest enemy in Fallout and Wasteland apparently when I play. This is a real long fucking walk. Octotrons here? God damn right. Grab those power packs on our way out though, because I've been blasting a lot of shit lately. Who wants loot? Cody. Uh, ratio. Take some of those. Holy shit, you got a lot to take. Single shot, smash, smash. The hell is going on? How's this fight not over? Ah, uh, probably because Morchis gained fucking ten thousand experience. There were so many of them. Let's just not do that. Silver Stranglers. Lotto. 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 All right, just the guys at range now. Do, do, do. Single, single, single. Evade, evade. Got a fucking big juicy radio call waiting for us once we sleep off on the third floor, I think. Burst, 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 big bait. There we go. Oh shit. Alright, we can see the radiation on the ground too. What a fucking time to be alive. Radio in how smart we are. Christina just hit Sergeant, which is gonna give her more decks for that flamethrower. Brody! My man with the Mason cannon, get his decks up. Man, fucking Brody cleaned up apparently. Tech Sergeant, Tech Master Chen. Uh, yeah, just fucking Dex, man. Just Horatio. Man, your Dex is pretty fucking low, Horatio. Tobias, strongest man alive. He's also the fastest man alive now. Give him some I was sitting on a lot of XP, it turns out. Red Hawk's just a grenadier now. Okay. Uh, and Red Hawk is my gunner, so I'll give him some of this. Okay. Save game, yes, quick email.
This is really shitty too, because it's like you can't really use the Geiger counter to suss out which way to go. This is a black three foot high cylinder. There's a small slot in the side. Okay, hint book, what am I doing here? All right, step one. Use the black star key. And then you press the red button. Holy fuck, there's two steps. All right, who are we leaving behind? We'll leave behind Mord. So what am I doing? I need the black star key. Somebody, who is the black star key? Black star key goes to Mord. Trade it to Mord. Okay. All right, good luck, Mort. Disband, Mort, not forever. And if we're lucky, he does not get attacked on his own. We'll just do OH. Do. The Nova key goes to the top right. We'll leave, uh, well, we can't leave Christina behind because she's got a flamethrower. She can't fight on her own with that fucking thing. Disband. We'll give Red Hawk the Nova key. Who's got it? Not this guy. Or? Ratio. Where the fuck is the Nova key? Brody? There it is. Trade it to Red Hawk. Okay, this. And Red Hawk, not forever. That's where you live now. We'll do this room now. I'm not sure what's in here waiting for us. Okay. This is the Pulsar key, which we will give to Tobias. He's he's strong. He can fucking sort his own shit out. But he needs the pulsar. Tobias is carrying too much shit. Trade one to Cody. There you go. All right, Tobias. There you go. Pod, what the fuck is this? Found an escape pod on the wall. Okay. I guess that'll open once we press all the buttons. Easy peasy. Okay. Use the keys and then we press the button. Alright, black star key. Actually, fucking, what does this dude say we gotta do? I ha I'm going to explain to you what sequence we have to turn the keys and in what order the colors have to be executed. We're almost there. To complete our task, we have to split up. Uh, remain in the reactor core. Da, 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 da. Pulsar key. Turn the keys in the following sequence. Black Star, Nova, Pulsar, Quasar. To complete the destruction process, we ran the color sequence. Red, yellow, green, blue. The countdown began. Then you just fucking run. Okay. Alright, Black Star Key. Alright. Station 1 activated. Waiting for final station lock. Uh, Nova Key. And then. Pulsar. Who has it? Cody? Quasar. There it is. Press button to activate safety procedure. 
What? Safety procedure 1342 666 activated. You hear a hissing sound followed by a loud slam. You turn around and notice that the panel behind you has been sealed shut. It's fine. Okay. First, that guy goes red. Red. Continue procedure. Uh, then bottom guy goes yellow. And that guy goes green. And then this guy goes blue. Blue. Self-destruct irreversible. The screen shows a clock counting down. It shows one minute. Holy fuck. Fifty seconds, oh fucking, we're fine. We're golden. A robot rises from the floor in front of you and starts to wrestle with you. Oh fucking, thank God this is the one everybody went to. Full auto. No, no. Yes. Alright, we gotta get the fuck out of here. 32 seconds, you're fine, you're fine. Enter new location, <laughs> skate pod activated. Next pod being prepared, it's fine, enter new location. This whole wall shimmers black with silicon chips embedded into it to form the world's largest parallel processing computer. Oh, did we make it? We made it. Okay. Yeah. That's us. Shuddering explosions rock the base. Fire blossoms throughout every doorway. Everywhere, walls and supports buckle and crumble in the explosions. Nobody had that rifle. Debris and shrapnel fly everywhere, killing everything it touches. You can almost imagine robots screaming as they realize they too are mortal. The following is an excerpt from the dedication of the History of the Rangers Volume 2 by Carl Allard, 2095. Allard Press, Desert Center, Hardbound, version 210 Gold. High on a neighboring hilltop, shielded from the explosion's full fury, the rangers watched as fire and ruin claim base Cochise. Deep in their hearts, they knew that in that hideous pyre burned the malignant creatures that almost ended all life on Earth. Oh, we did it! We beat Wasteland. We have some fucking real tricky pickles though, holy shit, all those times we died to the radiation poisoning in Darwin. And then there was that time uh, we almost died uh, in the basement of Base Cochise, because I didn't realize that uh, power armor protects us from radiation somewhat. Attack load. Radio in, you level up a lot. I was just going to go all the way back to Ranger Base. Desert Dweller. Let's report home on a mission successful. I have no fucking idea why they sent in a bunch of level 1 dudes to fix this. Yeah, there were those fucking trips down the river to Lake Mead the times I got stuck in the sewer, the time I fell into the pit. Oh, but we did it. We actually made it through the oldest game I've ever Let's Played. I don't even think it's possible to beat this game without the hint book. There you go. Let's radio that shit in. 
Congratulations, Rangers, on a mission well done. Since you embarked on your mission, we had reports from other Rangers about the horrible strength contained in base Cochise. Had it been possible, we would have warned you. However, we were afraid any such communication would have drawn Cochise's forces to you and would have destroyed your mission before you had a fair chance of succeeding. Even now, news of your victory is spreading through the wasteland and your heroic efforts will be rewarded. Holy fuck! Nothing's a threat to me, but... Brodioge has ten to spare. Sure. Codioge. Horatio will put all in IQ. He's the brains of the operation, you know? With a name like Horatio, Tobias, they all go into fucking strength. And Mort, my man. I don't even know what I'm going to give you, fella. Eh, like, go half agility, half strength. And Red Hawk, you did the Savage Village proud by helping me. You have 86 constitution when you level up. You gotta calm the fuck down, dude. Kinda wish I made him melee. But he's so good with weapons. His strength shit is the problem. He had really good decks to start off. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Let's just make him... Just this really fat guy. Doesn't have enough to level up. Oh no. We did it though. We beat Wasteland. Thanks for watching everybody.